UTT TV presents Holidays on a Budget, and here with this week's craft is your host, Haley Bowman. Hey guys, welcome to Holidays on a Budget. I'm Haley Bowman and I'll be hosting today. Okay, so when I was a kid, my parents used to do this really cool tradition where I would get a um, ornament every year and every year it would be kind of different. This year I actually got an Alvin and the Chipmunks ornament. I'm not sure where that came from. But anyways, we would get these ornaments every year and the ornaments that we received from our parents at the, uh, you know, at the end of the time that we s lived with our parents, we would get to take those home or take those to our apartments and put those on our own Christmas trees. And the ones that we made when we were kids, my mom would get to keep. Well, this show, we are going to show you guys how to make some really, really cute ornaments that you can keep on your Christmas tree. All right, all of these ornaments today are really child friendly. Uh, they more or less are super easy, uh, totally safe, with the exception of we use a pair of scissors. But um, so let's go ahead and get started. The first one we're going to do is a snowflake, which are the easiest thing to make. I used to make these in algebra because I didn't like paying attention. So we would do, basically all you have to do is take a white piece of paper and you fold it in half and you just cut little holes in it and it unfolds and it will make an ornament. And it's really cool because all of these ornaments are super individual, uh, all of these snowflakes, I'm sorry, are super individual because all of the, the shapes are going to be different. So basically you start with a white piece of paper and you fold it hamburger style. If you're a parent of a toddler, you know what this means means that you fold it wide ways instead of the long ways. And then you fold it again. And then you fold it once more. All right, so you're going to have a small rectangle. And the best way to start this off is you just cut the sides like this. And this will give you a basic, just a few little cute marks on your snowflake. To make it a detailed snowflake and to make it your own, you make actual little shapes along the sides. These will give it more detail. Um, you can use regular scissors if they're older kiddos or you can use safety scissors and uh, this project just works for any age because I mean anyone can be creative and cut shapes. It's pretty easy. All right. Now we're just going to make up some shapes for the middle. It'll be an interesting looking snowflake. There we go. All right. And we have our snowflake. Like I said, each one's going to be individual or uh, uh, very different and you usually will never find any two the same. They can cut the same shapes and it'll come out a totally different snowflake. The cool thing about this is you can have a huge page that you can like hang from the ceiling or you can tear it into fourths just along the main folds and just have a little thing to hang on your tree. Like that. So, all right, the second thing that we're going to work with is going to be something for a little bit older kids just because it includes glue and glue is always fun to work with. And we are going to make oops, candy cane reindeer. These are so much fun to make. They are super adorable. Um, th they work for any age kid. Uh, usually, like middle schoolers won't like it. But for the most part, um, anyone, will, anyone will make these. So, okay, they're really easy to make. All you do is you start off with the candy cane. And then you take a pipe cleaner, it doesn't matter what color. I use brown just because it is more realistic. So, um, we are gonna go to a commercial break and continue to make these when we come back. So you guys just stay with us. Jeb Originals is the place where everyone goes for custom t-shirt printing. At Jeb, you can create exactly what you want, how you want it. Be yourself and say it with a custom tee. Love sports? Cheer for your favorite team or player with a shirt you design. Whether you're supporting a favorite band or a cause, creating your own t-shirt is easy. Come talk to one of our designers to find out just how simple turning ideas into t-shirts can be. Custom apparel starts at $15 and is not limited to t-shirts. So express yourself, get creative, and let Jeb Originals help you 
we're back. Okay, so we were making candy cane reindeer when we left, and I went ahead and cut my pipe cleaner in half. Uh, you can use a full one. This one right here has a full one. It gives it more antler, but it also kind of looks funny. So I just use half of one. And you can put like bells on them. You can do anything you want because it's a candy cane reindeer and no one is going to judge you much. But basically, all you have to do ah, is add some eyes and a nose to your reindeer. And you can do this using hot glue or you can use just regular glue. I'm using regular Elmer's glue. It's just easier to use and it's much safer for kids. You have, you know, hot glue will definitely go a little faster, but it will also be very um, dangerous for young kids to use um, just because you don't want them to get burnt. So this will work just as well. All right, we're going to add a nose and then two eyes. Slowly. There we go. There's one eye. Oh. Aww. There we go. Like I said, hot glue will definitely work a little bit easier as far as um, sticking a little, be a little bit better but it's not nearly as safe. Okay, so we've got our candy cane reindeer. Pretty cute, right? All right, next up, our final project of the day is a Christmas chain, which is really fun to make because it helps kids to celebrate Christmas all month long. It's not just a, oh, we did this one day and it's done. This is a craft that they get to interact with. And basically what it is, is you take a piece of paper, and you, I'm going to use two different colors. I'll use green, not that green apparently, and red. And you cut strips in it. It doesn't matter how wide or thin, just depends on how much paper you have. So after you cut a few strips, um, you actually count, uh, cut the amount of strips as there is days left till Christmas. So you would glue one end to the other like this to make a circle. And this will take a little bit of time because the glue has to dry. And mine always kind of like pop apart for some reason and then I have to re-glue them. And it's kind of irritating, but it works in the end. So. You make a chain like this, and in the end, you just chain them all together, and every day that passes by for Christmas, a, the kids get to come by and they get to tear it apart. It's actually a lot of fun. And something that you can do to kind of spiff up this uh, project is, and this isn't a very pretty example, but you can make a top to go to it, and you just glue your chains here and it goes down. And you can make anything for this header. It can be something as simple as a Christmas Day sign, or it can be something as extravagant as some kind of Santa Claus made out of cotton balls. I didn't have enough time for that today, but it sounds like fun. OK, so we're going to just work a little bit more on these chains. Um, like I said, these are going to pop apart pretty easily. And a good way to get it connected to the piece of paper or your header is to take a um, a color that isn't a part of your chain so that kids don't get it confused and just cut it up a little slip to go on the edge right here. All right, like that. Oop, just kidding, like that. And like I said, kids can take these and tear these off every day for uh, Christmas. And that's all we have time for today. Hope you join us again next week when we make Thanksgiving stuff.